Good morning. Good morning. I'm Larry Shelton, uh, co-director for the workshops, and uh, this has been a very unique uh, three years, hasn't it? And however, there were two particular workshops that uh, I was able to participate in. We went to Oregon and Florida. That was the only two. And as you've heard, possibly, the uh, Oregon workshop has been canceled due to a lack of participation. And however, Last year, we was able to uh, participate in the Florida workshop. This year, in February, we were able to participate in a, a in-person workshop. And from there, we came to Camp B for the Green Dot workshop. And uh, it was for the 2020 and 2021 new sojourners. And i like to start with uh, the Florida workshop. I have a few pictures i like to show. And then from there, I will come back to uh, uh, Camp Bay for that workshop. As you see, this is the Florida workshop. I wish I could see that. First Sojourner Workshop, 1978. I didn't know that. I just found that out. And that's a picture of, of the uh, Sojourners in 1978. This is the theme of the uh, workshop. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. That's James Moore. For those who don't know, James Moore. And he did a lot of singing for us. He just got married. That's what I heard. He just got married. There were three basic age groups, seniors, middle-aged, and the youth. And who do you think has the strongest beliefs? It's the older folks, right? Who are the ones who are easily influenced? <coughs> youth. Why is the government focusing on the youth? They're easily influenced, aren't they? And so it is in the, uh, in the church. So we had a real good uh, uh, class on uh, how the young families in the church are under attack. 
Any back I'm going through kind of quick. There it is. <laughs> I have to look up here for I can read that. The uh, worldview is a person's philosophical view of the world that shapes how they live and interact with others. Tell me what the world is saying today and I'll tell you what the church will be saying in seven years. Something to think about, isn't it? Look at that. You know what that is? This is a group of men, and what I thought was unique about the Florida workshop is they're praying. There was a sign-up sheet for those who wanted to come together as a group and form a circle, and they would uh, have a prayer. And there was a list of different issues that they would like to pray for, and I thought that was a, a good situation. Maybe they'll do that again next year. I hadn't heard. Something happened there. Forty-four people. Mike Luizzi was the chairman. Are they also under the Burlington? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, this one, uh, we had several speakers to speak on uh, different ways that we uh, do uh, personal work, door-to-door dialogue. And this is the We Care approach. And uh, they're kind of having a mock uh, door-knocking session. Mike Luis is one of them and uh, demonstrating how to do the personal work. <laughs> Hand and foot, anybody? Uh, you probably can't read that, but you already know hand and foot. This is the backyard of Florida Workshop. I was told to take lots of pictures, so I got lots of pictures.
That's all of uh, the Florida workshop. Now I'd like to go to the uh, Camp B workshop. Where is it? <laughs> okay. They're real busy, aren't they? Yes, Green Dot Banquet. How many were there? That's a good question. <laughs> Not everybody, but all yeah. Green Dots in the previous year. I think there was around 19 or 20. Oh, no. The whole thing was more like 50. Green Dots. I'm not for sure how many was there. Oh, there's 22 Green Dots that took out. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Appreciate it.